everybody. I'm doing another tutorial. Um, somebody requested me to do the style that's on the background of my channel. So here's a picture of it. And <clears throat> in that picture I had twists in the front and then you know the bushy out in the back. But I don't feel like doing twists again. So I'm going to be having it flat down like this. So it's already been like that from today, but I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit. <clears throat> so I can have more of a afro look. So um, I did like a zigzag part, if you can see that. You can do any part you want. Um, and I'm going to spray this down a little bit. And of course, apply my echo. Because you know I can't do without it. <clears throat> and I already have some on, so I'm just going to put on a little bit. Just lick it down. <clears throat> And then to hold this back, what I am going to do is have these little combs. These are like the goodie brand. And then I'll just stick it here on the side and then push it through. Just like that. And then the other side I'm going to separate two. <coughs> So I, I sort of did like a wash and go earlier today, so my hair is uh, pretty much dry. So that's how I want my hair today. So then again, I'll take my comb and then push it through. So it keeps the sides down. So since this part is dry, I'm just going to mix it just a little bit with water. I don't want it too, too um, wet because <clears throat> it'll take longer to dry with the twist. And this way I can get um, more of a stretch, stretch my hair out a little bit more. Alright, so on my twist or afro part, I'm going to be using my African Shade Butter. I just got it. When I first got it, it was like really clumpy and hard. I, um, so I didn't like it. But I, what I did was I melted it down. And then I added olive oil and jojoba oil. And then I have like biotin capsules. And I like crushed them up and put them in there too. So this is how it looks now. It's a little bit more pliable. So what I'll do is just take big section like so my phone is ringing <clears throat> anyway I take a big section and I'm going to get some shade butter and apply it it feels good going on my hair oh it feels really good Okay, so after applying it, I'll detangle a little bit.
get my bobby pins. And then what I do is take it and twist it around. I don't do it too, too tight. Um, because I don't want it too tight. Just a little loose. And then I'll secure it with a bobby pin. <coughs> And I'll do my whole head, and I'll show you how I do it in the top, too. Okay, so I've already done pretty much the back. Um, I don't part or anything doing this. You don't really need to because it's all going to be taken out. So, again, still grabbing big sections. And then I'll get some Shea Basur. So I'm all done. Got the back going on. Um, and these combs that are hanging in there, um, at night, you know, because it'll be twisted up, you can take it out if they like irritate you and just put them back in the morning. So I'm going to have like my scarf um, down on my sides to keep them down and then just my regular bonnet thing over on top of it. And then in the morning, I, when I take them out, I'll separate them and it'll get a bushy look. Um, so with this style, every day the bush gets bigger because it's getting more stretched out and more stretched out. So I'll take pictures of each day uh, so you can see the progress that it has. Um, now the picture that's on my background, that was the first day. So by the end of the day, it was nice and big and I liked it. So every day I did it, like I said, it got bigger and bigger. So, I will see you in a few minutes. It really won't be a few minutes of my time, but it'll be like two seconds in your time. And then you'll see when I take them out in the morning, okay? Okay, this is the next morning. Um, taking out my big twist. I already took out the bobby pin, so I'm going to just start to unravel. And then when I unravel the twist, I take the each part that was twisted and separate it like that. Like I said, every day that you do this, you it gets more and more stretched out. Man, this shea butter. Oh, yeah. I put shea butter on it, by the way. You know, you should know that because I already said it. Anyway, um, yeah, the shea butter really makes my hair look nice. I'm sure it looks better in person. I don't know how well you can see it on my camera. But it looks really, really good. And I think I got all of them out. And then I'll go in with my pick. And I'll just pick out the roots. You don't want to pick it all the way through because then you mess up the curl pattern. But you just want to lift the roots out. So okay, so stay tuned for the pictures. Hey, Jill. You know them old sugar daddy. They be tricking, they tell them girls. I said you can have whatever you like. I said you can have whatever you like. Yeah.